could run with you And from what I have heard You do the same thing too I wanna say it forever We could be good together What's going on guys? I got Jules here. Jules say hi. Say hi. So we're hanging out at home. Jen is out to see Dirty Dancing with her cousins and their aunt. Um, they're actually stuck in traffic right now. It's real bad where they are, so. See if they make it to dinner first. But Jules and I, I think are gonna have a little daddy-daughter date night. We're gonna head down to a little local place and get some food. Right, Jules? Hey, Jules. Come here. Come here. Jules, you putting your beads on? You gonna be all, you all pretty? <laughs> so I'm gonna get her stuff ready. We're gonna head on up before it's too late. Get some dinner, come on back, clean up a little, get her in the tub, and we'll see how we do. Danton? All right guys, so we went over to a little place by us called B McNally's. Had everything ready to go, and I forgot the camera. I know. Even took a little tripod off, put it down, packed her bag up, and just walked out. But I gotta say, she was so good, it was ridiculous. She just sat in the high chair. She had a couple goldfish I brought for her, played with the crayons for a little bit, and then uh, she got her food. She ate almost, almost two chicken fingers, a couple fries here and there. But didn't scream, didn't cry, didn't fuss. By the time the dessert came, you know, I took her out, put her on my lap, and she ate with me. No issues at all. Um, actually, our friends Doug and Jerry ended up showing up, so we sat with them for a few minutes before we left. And she was having a grand old time. Um, you can't play with that. That's Jackie's. Uh, so now we're home. She's gonna play for a little bit. Then we're gonna give her a bath. And we're gonna try to get her to bed early. Um, Jen eventually made it, I guess. I haven't heard from her in a while. So I'm guessing she made it to the movie. Well, she had a lot of traffic before. So. You know, you can't play with the thermometer. Hey, Jules. Jules, wanna go on your slide? Wanna go on your slide? Come on, let's go. Come on. Um, excuse me. You ready to go? Come here, Jules. No? I'm on your car? Yay! Yeah, good girl. Come on, let's go. Want me to hold you? You just want me to hold you, huh? Can you take your knuck out? Can you take it? Who's got chocolate face? Who's got chocolate face? Eh? Want to open the fridge? <laughs> no, not the magnet. No. Let's go in here. Let's go. Let's go. Eh? Yeah? Do eh? you, you want a bath? Julesy? Want a bath? Want me to get it ready for you? Okay. A few moments later. Julesy, what are you doing? You trying to put your shoe on? Are you going someplace? And where are you going? Yeah? You sitting down on your big girl couch? Hey Jules, did you have fun tonight? Yeah? Hey guys, so I am home. As you know, I had a night out to see the one and only Dirty Dancing. The one and only? Celebrating its 30th anniversary. Yes, I am 35. Yes, I was five when that movie came out. It was my favorite movie. My whole childhood, my whole adulthood. It is literally crazy for Swayze. I went with uh, my sister, my cousins, friends. So it was a fun night. We hit traffic. So we ended up not going to dinner, but we made the movie and that was the most important thing. The theater was actually like, really busy, which I guess I wasn't expecting and a lot of husbands and boyfriends were there. I was thinking more like major chick flick type of night, but uh-uh. But yeah, it was really, it was so good. 
I know it's a movie you probably all saw a thousand times. My mom made fun of us for going, but we loved it. We had a blast. Keith took really good care of our baby girl. They had a daddy dinner date, mommy's idea. So I was happy to see that they actually went. I heard she was really good. Keith even ordered her chicken fingers from the kids meal. Ugh. Sorry, giving Dixie water. And then I am putting clothes away now. So, I definitely missed her though. Like, he sent me a picture of her. Two pictures actually tonight. And I was definitely like, oh, my baby. I'm not with her. But always good to get out and have some me time for a little bit. It doesn't happen too often. So, I want to thank Keith again for taking her. All right, so... I'm getting ready for bed. Jen is up there. She's put some clothes away. Come on, let's go. Rock dog. Yeah, Jen put clothes away. Um, she's getting ready for bed. Jules actually fell asleep early. I mean, I was playing with her. Well, not playing with her. I was playing with her after bath time. Come on. So yeah, we're hanging out after bath time. You know, she was playing with her toys, going around, watching, you know, YouTube videos and whatnot. And she started rubbing her eyes. So I was like, all right. And I was like, Jules, you want some milk? So I said, yes. Got her a bottle, laid down with her, and she was out. She drank about half her bottle, and then she was passed out by about 8.45. So she laid on me for about 20 minutes or so, and then I put her in a crib, gave her medicine, she stayed asleep, and she's still asleep. So we'll see if she sleeps through the night. Last night she woke up at about 6.30. Woke up about 6.30, came into bed with us, slept for the rest of the morning till she had to get up for school. So she's good. So all right, let's head upstairs. Let's say goodnight. Well, we're in bed. Getting ready to go to sleep. Yeah, cold. Well, I'll probably give you the blanket, Tanya. Yeah, my arms are itchy, though. Mm -hmm. So did you miss Jules tonight? I did. I said that before. Mm -hmm. I was saying that. She was actually she was just passed out by 8.45. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, that might not be good. She might be waking up early. I don't know. It'd be all you if she does. When you try to wake up this morning to get her, I had no idea what was going on. What? I didn't even realize she was crying. She, wasn't even, she was still asleep when I went down there this morning. Well, see, when she woke up around, it had to be 6. But she had no nook, so I went and put a nook in her mouth, came back up here, then within 10 minutes she was crying again. So the, when I told you to go get her, that was around 6.20. Yeah, and she was still pretty much asleep. She was crying though, we'll put her back in bed. But tomorrow is Thursday? Yeah, her doctor appointment. And when are we doing this doctor appointment? You're leaving work, picking her up, taking her. What's the point of the doctor appointment? We check on the ears. Oh. I guess we gotta make sure her ear infection cleared up, which I think it did. She she hasn't really had a fever or anything going on with her. But alright, so that's gonna wrap things up. Right? Yeah. So let's give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Share a smile. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you all tomorrow. You and I till the end.